SV Bonnie, and this is their Trans Air Video Transmission System. Now I've gotten a few of these. It seems like once you do one of these style videos, you get a lot of people that come in once you've reviewed one of these products that want you to check out theirs. Um, you know, this is a really interesting take on video wireless transmission. It is 1080p resolution. So 1080p 60 is what it supports. Uh, goes down lower than that. If you have 720 or 1080p 30, you can do that. Um, this is the transmit side here. So that's the transmitter and this is the receiver side. So if you were to plug this in to that big screen behind me, you could literally broadcast whatever you want off of the, whatever this transmitter is uh, up to 80 meters, 240 feet uh, to the receiver and have it show in real time. Now there's a very small latency. I'll show you how that works here in just a second. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the receiver in just like it was a computer. So I'm gonna plug it into where this was plugged in. Now there's one thing that I think they should probably have included, um, depending on your receiver and if maybe you don't have access to the back of a TV like this one, or if the back of the TV is gonna block the signal, it would be nice to have a little coupler, a little coupler like I'm talking about looks like this. So that little HDMI coupler, I'm gonna use it here. And it's just gonna take this male HDMI end and the male HDMI end that it comes with and it's gonna connect them. Now, this receiver does require power. So let's look at the cables that they've offered us. So inside the box, we've got two different kinds of cables. We have USB-A to USB-C, so that's kind of cool. So this will power both the transmitter and the receiver, uh, depending on how we need to. So I'm gonna see if I can plug in the receiver and have it fire up over here. So I'm plugging it into my desk power. You know, let's see if that's enough for the receiver. So there's the screen on the receiver firing up. Let's see what it says. So you can see the logo comes up on the receiver. There's no transmission going on to it yet. So that's what the logo looks like. Now you can transmit anything you want that's HDMI output. So you got a video game console, maybe you have a tablet, maybe you have another PC. I could see this being used in video production. So I did a little test earlier and I thought it was so much fun I wanted to do it again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a very popular GH5 camera. Uh, this is popular because it's got such great video quality. It does 4K footage. Uh, so this will be down, down sampled into 1080 60, but this comes out at 4K 60 if I want it to. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Let me show you how I make that connection. So if you're looking for something to give yourself a uh, wired to wireless, back to wired video transmission system, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the HDMI output of this camera. Now I do need to power it up. You could power it with a battery bank or something like that. And then under here, you're gonna see the little screen lights up and it's gonna find that receiver. So if I come back over here, now what's funny here, <laughs> there is a little bit of a delay. So you can see me waving in the little mini image. The little mini image up there is actually coming from direct hardware. You can see how low latency that is. This is a wireless HDMI transmission that's coming through. So this is the wireless HD transmission. Now all of my camera settings, this is hardware, so I can change my exposure settings here. I can change my focus, which is always tough on the GH5 getting it just right. Uh, but I can have this up to 240 feet or 80 meters away and still make a connection. So that's a really cool, powerful feature of it. Let's say you've got somebody with an Android tablet and you need to show that at your church. Well, so inside of this, it's gonna come with two extra adapters. So this is an 8K capable uh, mini HDMI and micro HDMI to HDMI. So depending on whatever device you have, so all your cameras, like if you wanna use a Canon production camera or something, you could do that but they also include a USB Type-C to HDMI. So what I'm gonna do to make this demo work is I'm gonna plug in my transmitter and then my favorite Minecraft world here, Creeperville, I play this with my kids all the time. I'm playing on this, but I can actually bring you guys over now right into my game off of this tablet. So if you're a streamer and you want to have wireless streaming of a tablet device like this, this is a, a fun world that all my kids, it's getting dark out right now. But you can see this is wireless HDMI transmission. So here you go, you see me, I'm moving this around and it is literally live. So I can show you that. 
So if you've got a preacher pastor up front, maybe it's got a laptop that they want to use wirelessly at the front of your church, front of house. Maybe you've got a presenter that wants to hook anything with an HDMI or USB type C port here. You can do that. Now to show you what's real, I'm going to unplug and that connection goes away. Now I'm going to take my show iPhone here and I'm going to see, uh, do I have anything good? I got nothing good to show on here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the show iPhone in and in just a second, you're going to see this switch over and it'll actually have the screen right out of my iPhone. So if I need to show something off of my iPhone, this again is being done wirelessly. So I've showed you not only a phone, a tablet, uh, you can do a computer just as easily. So remember we had the remote hands in here. I'll just do that as well for good measure. A couple other little nitpicky things. I love the connectivity that they're giving you all these different adapters. It is a little bit sad that you need to have enough power to run them on here. It is expected though. There's nothing free. The HDMI port doesn't have quite enough power to run this. So there it is. This is my Mac that we were using a little bit earlier. So I can do a speed test app. So there it is. And a really good screen quality as you can see on here. So this is my Mac and I'm using it over this wireless HDMI transmission system. So if I come back over here, you can see I'm not connected with HDMI. This is just a power cable to power the, the transmitter. The receiver is right here and it's plugged into the desk. So I could take this laptop with me again up to 240 feet away and I can transmit whatever is on the screen and it's almost exactly real time. So very low latency. I would guess that this is in the 80 to 100 milliseconds of latency at most. Uh, it also does have, I believe it's six or nine channels. So if you're working on this and you have multiple devices and you have multiple of these HDMIs, maybe you have three or four cameras, you can pick different channels and it's very easy to use. So I just wanna show you real quick, this actually has a menu on it. So I'm on channel seven, so I believe it's nine channels. If I need to change channels or other settings, I, there's a little button on this. A lot of the other ones that I've demoed and tested for you guys, they don't have any controls and they have no status indicator information here. So I'm actually changing through the channels and it's got no problem. And it's actually, the receiver is keeping up with it. So these things are bonded and paired and I'm changing channels. So maybe you're getting a little noise or interference, but you can see that works pretty well. So if you've got any sort of need for remote video now, would I play Fortnite or a super high end game? Maybe you've got a projector and you want to project a video game onto a screen, but you don't have a cable up to that projector and 1080p 60 is enough for you. This would absolutely work. Would it work for Fortnite where milliseconds matter? I'm guessing between 80 and hundred milliseconds of lag. The other thing, and I didn't do it, but uh, this actually has audio too. So it is transmitting 1080p 60 quality video plus an audio uh, stereo audio channel for you through that same connection. So very easy to use, very easy to set up. And I'm looking forward to try this out in our church.